The shoe overall, really lightweight. The stack height, I think, is perfect for the trail shoe. Uh, and then the outsole does a really good job. Like I said, it's been rated the top running trail running shoe in 2023. Uh, I've only used it one time, but I could see why it's voted that. Literally, there was no break-in uh, time period for me at all. I really put these things on, and I felt like I'd had them for a while. It was literally, it felt really, really good. What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Weston Wednesdays where we get straight to the point. The traction pattern on this trail running shoe by Kraft, which is a really cool brand out of Sweden. You have these lugs on this black outsole with this really nice rubber. Very, very tacky. I uh, used them today. You could feel a nice grab and, and grip on the ground. And these things are gonna be pretty durable. Uh, it's pretty hard rubber. Uh, but there still is a little bit of cushion to it, which is, you know, best of both worlds. It covers the top to bottom, a little split. It's not a full outsole to help with some of the weight issues to keep it a little bit lighter. It runs up the toe for protection there as well. Um, but those are really cool lugs and a really cool pattern. It's just very basic, but it does the job. Now, as we move on up, the cushion setup in this Kraft Endurance Trail running shoe is what they call PX Foam. Um, that's what the midsole is. Now, I'm trying to compare it to a couple of midsoles that I've had that somebody would be familiar with. Um, and I guess the closest that I could compare it to would probably be Boost. Um, I feel like it's a little firm, firmer uh, than Boost, but the response is better, I think, almost. It's, it, Boost almost has too much cushion. This actually has a, a propelling feel to it, uh, especially at the toe area. Now, you have it all the way through. It's a nice chunky um, midsole right underneath the heel for your impact protection to kind of save that. And, then, and as a, I was using it today, I didn't feel as much response there, just the nice cushion and it felt very uh, comfortable underfoot. It was when I pushed off at the toe area that I really felt like this push um, from that re the, the actual midsole, which is really nice. It's a really nice feel. Now the shoe, it feels a little narrow on foot and underfoot and I almost felt a little lifted uh, but it kind of went away, you know, after using it a little bit and I could, like I said, I felt like a really good prope propelling feel and a good response when I was running it. Now, the look of the shoe, you have a nice black color that really cements the foundation of the midsole, but then you have a nice gray that gradient into this orange color. I like the color concept theme of the shoe. That was one of the reasons I scooped it up. So PX foam, really, really good foam. Heard really, really great things about it. As we move on up the upper, it says that it's basically the upper is a durable, lightweight nylon, okay? It almost feels a little meshy too to me, but they're calling it nylon. It has some almost uh, synthetic uh, rubber that runs completely through the upper as well, I think just for more protective issues, but uh, it's gonna breathe, it's very, very lightweight, it's flexible, there's a lot of movement going on. Even though the shoe feels a little narrow on foot, there's a, it's pretty roomy in the midfoot area. Uh, at least for me, I'm a more of a narrow foot guy anyways, so midfooter, or sorry, wide footers would probably be really nice uh, and snug. Now as you move up towards the toe box area, uh, they have this synthetic area just for more protection, obviously, you know, you don't want that mesh nylon area to tear when you're running. So they added that on the toe box area, but then that also creates a little bit more of a snug feel, a little bit more of a compressed feel at the toe box area, which I don't mind. Like I said, my foot's narrow, so I really do like that feel. Now, they actually run that through all the way around the medial side uh, and the lateral side, and then you have a nice little, cool little, it's like, I mean, orange, yeah, orange area. It has a craft logo on the back. It says Endurance Trail, but then it provides that little hill counter uh, on the outside as well as the inside to give you a nice little backstop for your shoe to really lock it in, uh, which is a cool feature. Now, they hit you with these purple laces that really pop, they stand out. Um, I really like that feature of this, really. It almost gives me that Joker vibe from Batman, you know, this is his colors. So, tongue, it's very thin, thin tongue. It's attached in the midfoot, so it does, comp you know, obviously give you a nice fit, form fit when it's in, but it really forms to your foot. It's orange with the Kraft logo, and then you have the Kraft logo on the lateral side here with these uh, six dots, which is cool. So just different size dots, and that's their logo on, on all their shoes. These things come out at 160. I actually had a deal. If you jump on, you know, these websites now, they give people, you know, 20% off just by signing up. So it's a really good way to knock off some price. This would be a really good shoe to invest in, in my opinion, especially if you're a trail running guy. Uh, even if you're a gym or even a, just a road running 
uh, individual, this shoe I think would do it. It just would provide you with a little bit more traction, but I think it would really do a good job for you. That PX foam is very, very nice. Yeah, like I said, check them out, man. Craft in Sweden. They do a really good job. I'm very, very impressed. I don't normally do this, but what I do, you know what I do? I shoe with you. I'm out. Peace.